Yo, what's up guys? My name is Sipa Mwata, aka The Zulu Nation, and today we are unboxing and reviewing the Corsa K57, guys. So, without wasting any time, guys, please do remember to subscribe to the channel, give a like, and comment below, guys, if you know this uh, new wireless keyboard that I'm unboxing, guys. Otherwise, let's get the video started. Yeah. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? So today we are unboxing a new Corsair Hell wireless keyboard for me. It's a K57 and I know that this uh, keyboard was actually released around 2019 so not actually new new but new for me because it's my like, a sort of Christmas present. So without wasting any time, let's see what's in the box guys and this is the box that we have. And yes, I got it from Take A Lot, but I'll give you a link for Amazon and I'll also share a link from Take A Lot also. But you won't get the special because I got it half price. Normally, this keyboard is $99, but I got it around $63 for me. So it's a bit cheaper than any other college high end uh, wireless keyboard. But let's see what's in the box before we start going to the description and the details of the keyboard. So let's open this thing up now. Let's see what's going to happen here. My opener today is not opening. <laughs> I, I am using a tin opener today. I'm not using a knife or anything like that. So it requires more power. So, so let's check what's in the box, guys. Let's check what's in the box. Okay. We've got paper and we are having that's a keyboard, guys. There is the keyboard, guys. And it's a bit dusty. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It is a bit dusty, so uh, let's wipe the dust off of the box, guys. Jeez. Yeah, it is a bit dusty. I don't know what they did to this. <laughs> I don't think these guys uh, uh, placed it well, but it is a bit dusty, so it's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll wipe it a bit. Yeah, okay. This is the box that you get here for, for, from the laptop. And the, what they say is that it has a two year warranty, so the, 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 the keyboard, I mean, it has a two year warranty, so I'm, I'm actually happy about this. And they say I must, I can send it back with the warranty or I take a lot and return to the shop, blah, 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 and all of those things. I don't think I'll have a problem, but if I have a problem, I will return it immediately. So let's open the actual box. Well, this one, you can leave it down. So let's open the actual box and see what's in the actual box, guys. And, you know, everything has to be open in front of you, guys. Ah, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I messed it up the box, but okay. So from the box, let's put the box on the side, guys, because there's nothing important there. Okay, firstly, it's the actual mouse, guys. The actual mouse, as you can see. I hope you can see it clearly, guys. And we will deal with it later, but then there it is, guys. The Corsac K57, guys. That's the mouse that we have it. For now, let's put it on the side, guys, and see what else we have here. So from the box, uh, after opening it, you get your, you call it your keyboard USB to uh, this Type C thing, USB the newer versions. So that's a cable for the keyboard to charge it or actually to connect it as a wired keyboard if you want to do it like that. And let's put it on the side. Number two is your, it's like a rubber wrap, armrest here. It's your rubber armrest. It comes with it, guys, and we'll connect it and show you all of it. That's how it looks like, guys. And what else is here? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we've got the warranty, guys. There is the warranty uh, a guide and stuff for the mouse. I will simply put it back in the box, guys, because who needs a, a, a warranty? Okay, put it back and. Okay. Uh, that's about it or what's in the box guys so before we get into the specs and nitty gritties let me just show you what the mouse has guys uh, okay let's give it the mouse right now so let's see what the mouse has and what he can do guys so firstly this is actual mouse and it does feel a bit rubbery uh, as other people have reviewed it, but I haven't connected to, to anything. Yeah, as, as you can see, guys, let me show you here. I don't know if you can see, but you can actually bend it and open it here. I, I, I don't know. 
feels way rubbery than it's supposed to. And uh, there's two rubber, rubbers at the bottom here, left and right, and uh, there's a stand rubbery here, but it doesn't have a rubber under it, so it might move a bit. But we got these two bottom rubbers to hold it from moving on the desk. And what you see, guys, is this uh, you got six micro keys here on your left hand side, or it's the right hand side for me now, but it's the left hand side of the keyboard. That's your six micro keys. And at the top here, you got your media keys like your play, your next, your volume up, your volume down. As you can see them here, as I'm trying to show you, these are your media uh, volumes. At the top here, it shows you how you connect it to what device, guys. And it connects to, it connects, it might connect to three devices, but you might switch them accordingly. So on the Bluetooth F6 and F7, as I'm going to show you here, F6 and F7, they are more responsible for your Bluetooth 1 and Bluetooth 2 device. So you can connect it to Bluetooth device. F5, oh guys, it's wireless connection, guys. That's what we are here for, wireless connection. And now, another way is to connect the wire here and it becomes a fully wired keyboard so you don't need to worry about the battery or anything of some sort yeah and after that it's your lock windows key brightness and everything at the top yeah and this is the is a shiny surface I, I, I will remove it when we get to removing it i think that's about it the obvious thing about the keyboard oh and i think that if you want to check where you found your usb or your wireless uh, dongle it's in here let me show you again it's in here under the keyboard you just have to pull it out i guess and okay let's pull it out <laughs> thank you it has the slipstream uh wireless keyboard two giga i think 2.5 gigahertz i can't remember it all in my head but the slipstream the new slipstream technology from corsac they make it a, a bit more user friendly and fast responsive when you're playing games even though i don't think there's much advantage on it it's just a standard one it's a better keyboard it's a better wireless keyboard and it responds faster than any other keyboard that are basically in this price range i guess yeah so to order to see if it works guys let's connect it to our uh, usb yeah let's connect it to our usb thing guys and let's see if it's gonna work or not so what is the on button? Oh, there's the on button. So the on button is here, guys. And you click it once, and it lights up. And right now you won't see because it's a bit bright here. But those are your RB, RBG buttons, guys. They are lighting up. They are having fun. And this uh, and this laptop and this keyboard, I've connected it to my Mac for now because I just wanted to show you. <laughs> and this is how it looks like, guys. <coughs> this is how it looks like. So guys, we got the keyboard set up right now, and here is your rubbery armrest. Yes, the keyboard has a, a bit of uh, called the rubber body, uh, uh, called plastic body. Yeah, that's all. That's uh, that's the thing that uh, first when you talk about the specs of the keyboard, or the easy things you notice that this keyboard has a, a plastic body that you can bend, as I showed you before. And right now, the only thing that I can tell you to turn back is. If you open there, as you can see, guys, there are rubber dome keys, guys. Rubber dome keys, they're not mechanic keys. Hopefully, that's not a turn off for you. But I know 90% of the people to buy a $99 keyboard with that special like I got to get a rubber dome uh, keys, it's gonna be very, very, very uh, not good. Uh, at the same time, there is a bit of a benefit. You can connect them to two bluetooth at the same time on, on your keyboard and when you connect your bluetooth it's gonna light up here and say bluetooth one and bluetooth two keyboard are connected and and that's a, a good thing about it that we can use it on a windows machine and on another pc that's next to it when you're either editing or watching a movie well, so you can switch between the, the two and another thing that you have to do i forgot uh, this glossy thing glossy panel uh, guys it's a bit shiny and beautiful on live i'm just trying to see if the plastic i can remove the plastic guys so this is how you unwrap the plastic guys to show you how beautiful it is but you have to be careful guys the this area gets to be stretched a bit easily as i as i've researched it when i in a body if you guys crush it by mistake by just uh, rubbing on it like a t-shirt 
or anything so use a, a soft cloth to wipe things off here if you, you see a smash or anything like that so that's what you can do and remember guys you have your six micro keys on this keyboard so see six micro keys you can set up on the software and run it on the software for now uh, i think if you play around with this lighting it can change your rgb uh, lights and i don't know if it does anything weird but you can set how your rgb will do like if you click a position it's gonna light up above but that one i'm gonna show you when i actually open the software and it can be that can be that guys i see right now we're keeping it dark because if you don't want to you waste your battery life above and and you can turn it on as you want you guys and this is where everything is not set up it's just pulsing doing the rainbow thing and it's not that high guys not that high and the height of the button guys from the bottom is it's actually lower than normal keyboards so i don't know that to give you an advantage when you're interacting with the keyboard or in a fast shootout in apex or all zone but it might give you a bit of an advantage as i can show you guys this is how it looks like and right now it's flat and I can raise the bottom, uh, call it bottom bit to raise it up a bit. Let's raise it up. So now it's raised up. The bottom there, you got that elevation. Now you can put your arm here and rest up, and you can write stuff here. Okay, I, I, I am writing weird things on the, on the PC now <laughs> because the PC is just responding to other stuff. And you have your, I think, let's see how it sounds like. I hope you can hear it because my son is playing music on our side, but. Just keep quiet and just press the button as hard as you can and see how it would sound like guys playing on rubber domes not mechanic keyboard okay i hope we heard that that was my small sound review of the keyboard since it has rubber domes and and, uh, and for those people who, who, who don't understand uh, how rubber dome sound like, this is how it sounds like, guys. Hopefully, out of the specs I have, guys, if you go to the mouse itself, it's gonna tell it has uh, RGB uh, six micro keys, as we said, guys. The HDMI key, uh, keyboard response rate is 1000 HZ, guys, so it's very fast. And keyboard keys is a rubber dome, as I said, guys. Rubber dome, it says wireless, guys. And the height is adjustable because of the back elevation thing, as I said. But remember, guys, the difference between this keyboard and the previous uh, wired keyboard, the K56, is actually being wireless, basically. So the keyboard looks the same as the K56. And K57, this one, the only difference is it's just it's wireless. So for those who have used the K56, they will feel sad to get this keyboard because it's going to be the same keyboard just wireless so, so there's no benefit or anything extra i hope corsair <laughs> they're going to make a different one when they release another version because i don't know how many versions they have of this type of keyboard maybe they, they change the design of the keyboard if they release a new version but not just make it wireless and say okay everything is here we just put the technology in but make it look beautiful about that's one of the few things when you're reading the specs when you're checking it it's like oh, okay this is okay yeah anyway it is a, it supports 2.0 and 3.0 uh, wireless connection on your usb so you put that usb thing a uh, slipstream uh, i told you the slipstream uh, dongle that i've shown you before that you find on this keyboard uh, it, it's, it's actually it supports 2.0 and 3.0 usb and it's 2.4 gigahertz slipstream up and it can last up to 16 hours with the standard lights on or 24 hours with the lights switched off so if you switch off the lights it's gonna last you 24 hours and with the bluetooth it can last up to 30 hours with the with basically the lights on and 50 hours with the lights off if you're connecting it to the bluetooth and battery charging you use a usb uh, cable as i'll show you guys uh, this is the cable that you're going to be using to charge your your device and at the same time, you can use this cable and make it a wired keyboard because it's going to be connected to the to the keyboard. And this is the cable you're going to use to charge your keyboard, guys. So you can put it there. And after that, uh, let's see what else they say about the keyboard. Uh, wrist armrest is included also. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. And already included it. 
table table is already included as what i showed you and you can uh, so up to 25 okay if they if you want a keyboard battery life basically you last up to 35 hours with rgb light uh, or 175 hours with backlight off but uh, it, it depends and the warranty is two years guys this keyboard i have has two years warranty that's what they say and that's i think that's the rest of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the rest of it from the spec session, guys. Before we start saying anything we don't know about it, and that's right now. Let's go and check out the software and see what does the software has for us, and, sh and see what we can do with the software when you're looking at this keyboard. So let's go. So guys, it's about time we take off this mouse with its wires and you put it to rest, guys. Goodbye to our old mouse land. We're saying welcome to the new Corsair mouse guy. I hope you can see me. And right now we're gonna connect it wirelessly because you know we like we have everything wirelessly. Even this uh, mouse I have it here. I'll put a link also for this mouse to see up there so when and unbox, unbox it. It's a red dragon mouse, guys. So wireless mouse, it's a vampire. Anyway, let's connect the wireless mouse, guys. Uh, Okay, mouse is connected, oh, keyboard is connected, and we are off. And let's just clean this thing up. And, and, and as other guys said, guys, this thing is at the top here. It is a bit tricky, guys. It's gonna show you a bit of scratches. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's a sensitive thing, and the keyboard is on, guys. Keyboard is on. And right now it's showing me that I'm connected to more than one PC device. My Bluetooth is connected to the to this Mac, and my wireless connection is connected to this Mac. Let me see if I type. Okay, looks like I can switch between keyboards and stuff uh, using F6. So if I say F6, then now I'm typing on this side, and if I turn off F6 and say wireless, then I'm basically typing on the keyboard anyway let's get started with our software review guys because you're here to see the software guys not me typing on keyboards <laughs> yeah let's get into it yeah so what's up guys so right now uh, i'm trying to, to show you that how you're gonna download your software for your Corsac. this is the Corsac website it says downloads here i will share it also in the description just to show you and if you get in here guys just write K57 for your Corsair 57 mouse and it's going to show you there's the software guys and you can download it and it's going to ask you for details to sign up and stuff like that you can skip it if you don't want to, to do that skip start the software or well, to not sign up for anything but you know sometimes you need to sign up if you want to buy another product or anything like that directly from the Corsair website but since I'm in South Africa it's going to take ages to get here so I was basically just download the software for now and install it and show you how it works and every time I do this uh, software review guys <laughs> uh, I should not show you how uh, when I'm waiting for it to download it takes time but anyway easy peasy we are installing it now and we are rolling with everything do not mind my tabs at the top here and I'm gonna say American English you can change your language accordingly but let's leave it American English because uh, English is English I'll say welcome to Corsair, blah blah blah. Agree to all those rules, and if you want to read them, read them. And you can switch where your mouse will be, but I like it to install on my C drive because I want everything to be my, my solid state. Everything to be with my mouse and my keyboard, solid state hard drive installed immediately there. And right now we're just waiting for everything to install and copy updating. And I don't know if it's doing it over the internet or what, but I think. I think it's just installing, I guess, yeah. Those are the few things that we, sometimes you need to skip <laughs> when you're doing these software reviews. But I had to show you how to install it and share with you. And right now, I don't think we're going to have any issues. going to finish it quickly right now. And we'll start to play around with the keyboard. And I will try my best to actually show you how it looks like. It's installing drivers right now. So going to make the sound, the driver sound. Do -do 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 yeah, I hope I fully, I, I can actually check my storage here on my other phone because I want to take two videos now 
and show you when I'm clicking on the button or if I change something. So hopefully everything is running. So okay, everything is finished, guys. Software is finished installing, and let's open it up. Uh, while we're waiting for, for for it to open it up, so I can hear some hard drivers going. And there is the icon, guys, for the software. I'm gonna minimize everything, guys. Even my face, though. I don't know my face is there. Okay, let's just open this guy. Oh, let's just wait. Okay, it's opening up now, and there you have it, guys. Software is opening up, and it's just it does recognize that yes, I am uh, running this kind of uh, RGB thing on wired on the keyboard right now. So okay, let's first take there's actions, and I don't know what's in action, guys. Actions are empty. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Okay, light effects. So light effects, you can actually play around with the light effects, like no effect at all. The keyboard's gonna turn off, and let me also show you uh okay while we, while we do that so let's open that camera oh. okay so uh i'm just gonna show you again uh, sorry about this is not moves but anyway i'm trying my best to, to to show the keyboard here guys uh okay so oh geez my keyboard should not be doing that yeah okay, okay. So right now I'm just showing you that the keyboard is off and okay and if you turn it on for any emotions guys uh, that's how it's gonna be basically it's the same as what did you see on screen guys this is how it's gonna be showing like and that's how it's gonna be spiral rainbow uh, rainbow wave uh, it does the wave thing uh, across color shift so let's see this one I think it changes according to what you do I think I don't know. I have to press shift? I don't know what it does. Uh, I can say random color. I think. Yeah, it's a random color. Oh, yeah, this one's a random color. Uh, okay. Okay, random color. Pulse. Uh, okay. Oh, it just pulses. Okay, I see now. Okay, this one's color pulse. And as, as I'm showing you on the other camera, even though it's a creepy, creepy view, guys, so forgive me. And there's a wave. There it is, guys. The wave. The wave. There it is, guys. And what else? Uh, okay, I don't want to call this one Visa. Visa. <laughs> okay, these are all the light effects, guys. You're gonna have. Uh, there's still more you can you can pick out in here. And there is a rainy one where everything goes randomly on your keyboard. And remember, with all of these light things, it might charge your battery even more. But you have to choose what you want. Guys. Choose what you want. What you feel like. Uh, type lighting see this one is one of the cool things about like if you type anything anyway it, it just changes colors I, I i like it guys i like it no see so press b wait for it and you press it. Oh, okay i like this one but not practical <laughs> okay static color you can set a specific color for it you can set it to red black and you can switch between colors like choose red here choose i don't know is that yellow a green a blue and uh, i don't know it's a dark blue paper i don't know i think it's dark blue anyway pink and that's white so you can choose those static colors and these are all the preferred colors you have guys and you say no effect no effect it is and you can use your spiral rainbow thingy to show the colors uh, or you can use the wave yeah, the wave is gonna be slow, but it's okay. I think the wave is cool for now. Anyway, this is performance section tab, guys. The performance section tab it has disables Windows key. Uh, you can change all of these things to disable chip, Alt F4, all of those things with the software. So that's the capabilities of the software. Let me see. Home for the dashboard. Dashboard does not have anything else. Install lights does not uh, do anything when it shows you light. Let's see if I pick red. Okay, it just shows you red. That's it. Oh, you, you, you can force it to go red, I guess. Okay, ah, but that, that's, that's, that's not useful. And you can click there and it reverts back to your settings. And if you go to settings, you can change your speed. If you want it to be slower, me, I want it to be faster. One millisecond, I guess. And this is the brightness, and it doesn't matter, guys. You're all using your S keyboard every time, 
so it doesn't matter and you can update your firmware here and it does tell me that uh well let's keep going george already running the latest version okay so we are running the latest version guys after that there is a general uh could i i i i see you in settings guys where it tells you temperatures and such as degrees for me and everything should be like that dashboard osd but these are all oh you can set specific keys for other games like i think you may have a profile for a specific game but you know for, for me i don't think i will worry about that for now until we play yo guys i hope you enjoyed our small unboxing slash review that we did on this keyboard guys it's a corsair k56 or k57 i mean it does look the same man. <laughs> yes you, 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 you want to be confused if you know the k56 but it's a k57 guys it is wireless and if you have any comments about this keyboard guys the rubber dome keyboard please leave them on the section below tell me how good or crappy it is for you otherwise from my side i have shown you what i think about it and I will see you on another review guys. Hopefully you're going to be ready for another unboxing, travel video and whatever review we have for you. So please do remember, give a like to this video guys if you liked it. Give it this like guys and also comment why you didn't like it. And also please subscribe to my channel just to help me out and get to that 1000 count guys. And get those watch hours going so I can be monetized once again. Yeah. Otherwise for me Zoom Machine, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you another time. Good luck. Peace out. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us.